pace car pulls off. Carl Edwards, as we mentioned, on the high side. The fans are on their feet. When they come by, this time, there'll be seven laps remaining here in Texas. Hamlin does not get a good restart. Well, Trevor Bain yeah, was Trevor. ready to go on that start, though. He was on Carl Edwards. He's bumper. He's pushing him through one and two. And he gets down in front of the 18. So two Fords in the front row, and Trevor Bain says, Hey, fella, I want to get my first win in the Nationwide Series. He's going for the lead. Ricky Stenhouse passed Elliott Sadler on that restart. He's coming. Sadler's still having a loose race car issue. And the one thing he... Oh, and look at him. He almost got loose there again. Let's see, Sam Hornish has gotten by Sadler also. They have a battle for the lead, though. Trevor Bain into the corner. Carl not giving up on the high side. Here comes Keselowski putting a little pressure on the high side as well. Side by side. Bain's clear. To Stenhouse. And Trevor Bain has got the lead late in this race. His career best finish in the series has been third multiple times. Stenhouse is racing Clint Boyer awfully hard. Well, he is seeing what he wants, and that is the two fading in his mirrors. Trevor Bain is seeing what he wants, which is a chance at his first checkered flag. He's making the most of it, too, now. He's pulled just about two car lengths on Carl Edwards. And we mentioned Ford wins this race. They clinch the Manufacturers' Championship. I think they thought they'd do that with Carl Edwards, not Trevor Bain. Well, I'll tell you, Carl has led 157 laps. And here he goes. He's under attack from the 18. And Denny Hamlin side by side. Just what Trevor Bain wants to see in his mirror. These two guys racing, he can pull away a little bit more. That's Brett Keselowski in fourth. The 33 of Boyer is fifth. On board with Hamlin. Well, that move right there, Carl Edwards seen get down the quarter panel of that 18 car. Trying to hold him back a little bit. And now Carl takes the high line. That's the highest we've seen him go all day. And it didn't work out too good. No, it did not. Boyer gets around Keselowski. So move him into fourth, and here comes the six of Stenhouse. And you can hear that point margin increasing with every car he passes. Boy, how things have changed for this championship battle during this race. When Stenhouse was fighting his car, you see him slide it off a of turn two. That gap had closed to about seven points, and now Elliott Sadler's fighting a loose car. It's 18 as we speak right now. What a swing in the last oh, 20 laps. This time by, there will be two laps remaining. And Trevor Bain is in front of Denny Hamlin by almost a half a second. There, you see the number two car behind the 20 of Joey Logano. Sadler struggling to hold on to ninth, trying all he can to at least get back to eighth. Oh, he's loose. Yeah, he just got an extremely loose race car, trying to make the most of it. This has got to be heartbreaking at one point. I, I guarantee you he's thinking, we are looking pretty doggone good. There you see it. The white flag is out. Now, Denny Hamlin is closing on Trevor Bain. Yeah, he's right there. He's going to put some pressure on Trevor on this last lap. Trying a little different line off turn two. Didn't seem to help, though. Might get a run down the back straightaway, though. He can get a little bit of a draft here, but I'm sure Trevor's going to make him go by on the high side if he's going to pass him. The young man who stunned everybody, winning the Daytona 500 back in February, coming through turn number four. He is going to get his first nationwide win in his 77th start. Denny Hamlin second. Edwards third, Boyer, Brad Keselowski rounds out the top five. Stenhouse comes across in six. Sadler comes across the line in ninth. And the points championship has actually increased by two to 17. Well, what a great job by Trevor Bain there on that restart. He was ready to go on Carl Edwards' bumper, got him a little bit loose. Awesome took job, back. buddy. Awesome job, son. Way to get up on the wheel there, man. <laughs> third driver to get his first nationwide series win here at Texas. Joining some exclusive company. Guys like Kurt Busch and Dale Earnhardt Jr. He has waited a long time for this. Well, he's never been able to do one in a nationwide car. I guess he's got a little bit to learn about how to get those wheels spinning. <laughs> I think he's stalled. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he tried to get it going. There he there goes. Now he's getting it going. Danica Patton able to drive her way up to the 11th spot on that last restart. So nice job by Danica. 
Let's talk to that winning crew chief. How about it, Vince? Well, a big Roush Fenway celebration down here in the 16 pit box. Chad Norris, congratulations on the win. How about that young driver? Man, he done a great job today. He, uh, we got a little behind at the beginning there, and uh, we worked on it, kept working on it. It was really good, man. The Ford Mustang was so awesome today, and uh, I think that the manufacturer clinched right there for us, so that's pretty cool. It's just great to uh, be a part of Trevor's first nationwide win. Yeah, a lot to celebrate down here, Marty. <laughs> he led only six laps. Carl Edwards led 157. And Edwards comes home in third. It's going to be a frustrating day for Carl because he had the dominant car. But boy, the last 20, 25 laps of this thing, I saw so many things change, DJ. Well, that's why you got to stay around to the end of these things. It's so competitive. A lot of things change. What a great job by this young man. Yeah, he felt a lot of pressure because of all the things going along with Carl Edwards winning a lot, Ricky Stenhouse winning. He felt like he needed to hold up his end of the bargain here, and he did just that today. Remember that streak of races that he missed earlier in the year when he had that illness that just sidelined him. And then when he came back, he was struggling, not having a very good time in the car. And then all of a sudden here, these last four races especially, he has been in the top 10 and now pulls it off with his first career win here at Texas Motor Speedway.